Okay, so quick update. Here we go. Okay, uh, so we're going to encompass two weeks as a story real quick and try to get this as quickly as possible. So the idea is I'm 12 years old, roaming around in the North Carolina woods with my best friend. Best friend's about this big. I'm about this big. So it's kind of a sight gag. So we get stuck in the mud. We get him out of the mud. I go back into the mud to get a shoe of his. I take the shoe out of the mud and I bounce it off his head. And then I am stuck in the mud. I can't get out of the mud. Chris begins to try to get me out of the mud. Chris is a little guy, like I said, and I'm a big guy, and he didn't be able to. No, I'm not getting out of the fucking mud. So I'm still in the mud, and I've now sank up to my balls. We talk Chris into going to get his dad. He goes and gets his dad. His dad comes back from with a little bit of Sunday afternoon drunk and a buddy. Sunday afternoon drunk and the buddy then try to get me out of the mud for a little while. They almost get stuck in the mud. I've now sank up to my belly button. So we get my dad. My dad comes out there and goes, what the fuck? Let's get the EMTs and the EMS and the fire trucks and the police and all the people. Get my kid out of the goddamn earth. They set up planks, they set up floodlights, they set up trucks. We got two fire trucks, three ambulances, five cop cars later, and I'm still in the fucking mud. I've now got two arms and a head sticking out of the mud. They put a harness on me, they attach it to the back of a fire truck, they gun the engine on the fire truck, and all of a sudden, I dislocate everything you can dislocate. (laughs) I wish I could have heard that. So... They take me to the hospital, they check me out, they pop everything back into the place, they say, you're good to go, kid, sleep it off, we'll see you the next time you fuck yourself up. And I get up the next day on a Monday morning, and I have to go to school. So I get up, it's nothing important, I've already showered off all the mud, go downstairs. I have breakfast. I eat breakfast, I get on the bus, a couple of people in my neighborhood make fun of me for getting stuck in the mud last night. It was around my house, okay, yeah, yeah. I get to school. And the first thing I hear, what up, mud boy? <laughs> so my parents, my father, who is an avid reader of the Monday morning paper, you know, every day when the paper came to the house, my dad would read the paper. He would read the paper that was delivered to the house every Monday morning, every Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday morning, dad would read the paper. So on Monday morning, when dad read the paper and I went down and had breakfast with dad and he read the paper, he looked at me and he thought this in his head. <laughs> And he continued to read the paper. And my mother, who watched the morning news every, every day of the week, she'd watch the morning news every Monday. When the news came out in the, mo- in the morning on the Mondays, when my mother would watch the news on the mornings and the Mondays. And she had to have thought to herself. Because <laughs> I show up at school the next day, being stuck in the mud the night before, thinking I got out of the mud, I got showered, and only, you know, like the kids from my neighborhood are going to know about this, and I won't be known as the mud boy for the rest of my fucking life. So come to find out. <laughs> I was the front page story that morning. If you ever want to go find it, it's the uh, Raleigh News and Observer, somewhere around 1991 or 92 in the fall, right around the start of football season. There's a nice big picture from about 30 yards away of all the floodlights and all the firemen fighting with the mud trying to get me out of there. There's, you can actually see my arms sticking out of the photo, out of the mud. And this leads me to understand so much about myself and my sense of humor now. Because I look forward to the day that I have a kid who does something really stupid and thinks, I just got away with that. I will not have to live up to that. And on a Monday morning, I'm going to read the newspaper. I'm going to look at the newspaper on a Monday morning, and I'm going to look at my kid. And I'm going to look at the newspaper on the Monday morning, and I'm going to smile. And I'm going to think to myself, I love you, Dad. (laughs) 